Well, hello, hello, hello. This is uh, Brother Wes, Prophet Wes. Um, I wanted to come to you and um, just encourage someone um, quickly. I uh, just, just something just dropped in my spirit that's kind of um, troubling in a way, in a way. And and what I'm, and what what's troubling me is that what I sense is that. Uh, Many of you are uh, wrestling. You're wrestling. You're wrestling, and your ra- your faith. You're wrestling with your faith. Um, things, situations, circumstances. It's 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 after your faith. Just know that the things that are coming against you. Just know that the things that are talking to you, the things that are tormenting you, the things that are uh, whispering to you. They're after your faith. They're trying to destroy your faith, and, it's, and you need to know that it's not God. Uh, the Bible says, I think it's in St. John 10 and 10, and the thief comes not but to kill, steal, and destroy. But God said, I come that you have life, and that more abundantly. Anytime there's something that's trying to rob you from something that's good, that's positive, if anything is trying to rob you from or stop you from praying, seeking the face of God, then that's not God. You need to understand that God will never stop you from praying. God will never stop you from doing good. God will never stop you from doing anything that's positive according to the word. But who will? The adversary. When you read your Bible, you get sleepy, you get tired. Uh, your mind wander. You have all kind of thoughts that go through your mind. This is the adversary because he don't want you to hear what God is saying. Because what God is saying inside of it, there is life. There is life. And the adversary, he's really after your belief in your God. Because if he can get your faith, then he'll get your miracle. If he can get your faith, he can get your breakthrough. If he, if he can get your faith, he can get your hopes, your dreams. And so his target, his aim is after your faith. It's after your belief in who you believe in. Just like with Moses and, and Pharaoh. Pharaoh was attacking his approach. He went against Moses, but it was against Moses' faith in his God. He didn't want him to believe in his God, that his God was able to do it. See, but God had to show up and show out. And so this situation is after your God. It's after who's backing you. It's, it's this, this, this warfare, it's bigger than you. It's not against flesh and blood. You People might talk to you, turn their back on you. They might treat you a certain way and, and all of that and gossip. And you take it personal, but it's deeper than that. It's after your God. It's after your faith. It's after your determination. It's after your hope. Your hope. It's after your dreams. It's after what God has called you to. It's after your promise. And so... You know, just a thought that I wanted to uh, leave you with to, just for you to be encouraged. To be encouraged to keep fighting the good fight of faith because what makes your faith grow is actually the, the trials that you're facing. It's stretching your faith. And what makes your faith grow as well is Bible says faith comes by hearing the word. The word, uh, hearing, hearing by the word of God. And so faith, the more you hear the faith, is like um, going to a gas station, the more... Uh, you turn the pump on and put the gas in, the more you're being filled. And so anytime you tap into your faith, you're being filled. You're getting a little more, you're getting a little more substance. You're getting a little more strength. You're getting a little more determination. You're getting a little more hope. You're getting a little more wisdom. You're getting a little more joy. You're getting a little more victory. And so, see, you need to understand and realize that the Bible said the suffering of this life is not worthy to be compared to the glory, the glory, the glory that will be revealed. Now, see, there's a revelation that's taking place through your pain, through your suffering. There's a revelation that's taking place through what you go through, through you being knocked down and through you being rejected. There's a revelation. There's a revelation of God, who he is. There's a revelation of his strength. Just like what God told um, uh, Paul when Paul was at his weak place and his infirmity, God said, in your weak place, that's where I'm strong. And then he realized that the power of God might rest upon him. And so God power rested when he was weak. When he was going through his suffering, this is when the power of God rested upon him. And so know that uh, in your weak place, in your affirmative, the power of God is resting upon you. And so press your way and keep fighting. See, because there's greater as he than, than you, than he that's in the world. God bless you. Have a good day.